Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father. Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak. And I, Lord, I pray they be your words, not my words. I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen. Oh, Lord, not my will, not my will, but thy will be done. In heaven and on earth, thy will be done. And we know, we know our time grows short. So we pray more than ever, Lord, we pray to be in your will and your grace to be pleasing to you, Lord. I pray in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I am, I am only, I'm just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven. But I am God's dirt. I have, I have fallen twice in the last two days on my front porch trying to get in the house and, and then this morning I fell trying to come up my steps to get on my back porch. But that aside, I, I had a dream last night, a very strange dream, but somehow it, it was it was prophetic I felt that it was prophetic and what happened was in this dream I was standing and I was looking at this basket and it was full of marbles they were like little tiny marbles and someone told me to count out 20 marbles and hold them in my hand so I counted out 20 marbles and I held them in my hand and then, then someone told me, and, and what they said was, two months, two months. Now, I, I don't believe, I don't believe that it's the rapture, okay? I mean, the rapture could be any second, tomorrow, today, could be any time. I don't think that has any bearing on the two months. But I think the two months is significant because... major banks are collapsing things are happening economically around the world and, and the economy is is just about ready to collapse just about ready to fall and so in two months it's about the time it'll take for everything to filter down to the average working people on the street so it could be economic collapse it could be war it could be famine pestilence it could be anything But something, I, I'm just sure, I'm just positive, something big is going to happen in two months. I don't know what. I've, I've prayed on this, and I haven't been given any revelation on it. And I'll pray some more on it. And if I, if I get a revelation on this, I will include it uh, below the video. And if anybody has any idea what that means to hold 20 in your hand, in this, in my case, it was to hold 20 marbles, to hold them in my hand. And if anybody has any idea what that means, I'd appreciate it. And if anybody has any comments on two months, I'd appreciate that as well. We're going home soon. That girl's so weary. And it's it's hard on me when I fall. Luckily both times I kinda braced my fall with my hands and my arms and I didn't do any major damage, but still it was it was hard on me to fall and hard on me to get back up. But I don't I don't I don't care about that I don't care about anything in this world all I care about is being rapture ready ready to go home at a, at a moment's notice in a twinkling of an eye I'm out of here and then I'll have perfect knees perfect legs and on, on the streets of glory and on, on streets of gold solid gold 
I'll be jumping and running and hooping and hollering and dancing and in the spirit and, and jumping up and down and praising my Lord, my God, my Savior. Oh, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for my many blessings. They number as the stars. And I thank you for each and every one of them. Thank you for the birds that sing for my video. They sing of your glory, Lord. They sing of your glory. They give you praise. They give you praise. Because they know we're going home soon. And we will see you there. We will see you there on that day. We will see you there. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And across from the Crystal Sea, after we see Jesus, after we see Jesus, there's a park bench. It's on, on, the, on the street of gold. It's right across from the Crystal Sea. There's a park bench. There's a park bench. And we will meet you. We will meet you at that park bench. We will meet you at that park bench. After we see Jesus face to face. We will meet you at that park bench. Right directly across from the Crystal Sea. We will see you there on that day. We love you also very much. You, all of you, are in our prayers. And we love you all. And each and every one of you have been a gift from God to us. And we thank God. We thank God for each and every one of you that come our way. God bless you. God keep you. And remember, in these last days, Satan will try to trick you. He will try to trip you up, try to trick you. He, play, he doesn't play fair. He doesn't play fair. He doesn't play by any rules. There are no rules for Satan other than what God limits him to. And God is lifting his hand of protection. You can see it every day. You can see it in our schools. You can see it everywhere. Everywhere. In everything. All the more reason that we need to stay in the Word of God and stay faithful and true. Stay in prayer. Repent of sin. Say the blessing over every meal. And repent of sin every time you pray. Now you may not think that, that you are sinful, that you have sin in your life, but like I said, there is sin in everything. It's in our food. It's in our drinks. It's in our water. It's in the very air that we breathe. We breathe. It's in our medications. It's in everything. It's in everything. So now, now more than ever, you need to repent every time you pray. You need to say the blessing over every meal that you eat. Because nothing is safe these days. Nothing is safe. Oh, Lord. Thank you. So we keep you all in our prayers. We keep you all in our prayers. And we will see you on those streets of gold one day very soon. God bless you. God keep you in your safe is our prayer. We love you all so very much. Amen.